Alrighty, Hosses, welcome back. And this video is actually the very first tutorial in a little mini series that I'm going to be making because for the next five or 10 tutorials, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a really simple 2D game using SpriteKit. Now, what is SpriteKit? SpriteKit is a game technology that's built into iOS and it makes it really easy to make 2D games. And inside it, it takes care of all the hard stuff like collision detection and physics and it pretty much gives you all these tools so you can just concentrate on what you want your game to be and pretty much the fun part of it so it's easier just to show you guys to be honest instead of just you know giving you guys a definition of what it is so let's go ahead and get started i created a brand new xcode project and make sure you select ios application now before, whenever we were just learning how to make apps, we were just choosing a single view application most of the time, apps with one screen, but now what we want to choose is game. Now whenever we choose this, it's going to give us a really simple um, like basic game template, and I'll show you guys what it is in a second, but select game, hit next, and the product name, I'll just name it like a Bucky Blaster, name your game anything you want. All right, Swift, game technology, sprite kit, devices, universal. This game is going to be able to run on everything, so universal is fine. And hit next. And create right there. It looks good. So now let me go ahead and make sure that this looks good for my screen recorder. And adjust that. All right, so hopefully somewhere around there is good. Now, believe it or not, if you just run this right here, let me change it to like a iPhone 5, you can run this right here. And when my simulator pops up, you see that at, at the, by default, pretty much the very first thing it gives you is this really simple game that says, hello world. And if you tap or click on it, it puts these little spaceships up and then they can spin so it's not even a game it's just a little stupid demo but that's what it gives you by default whenever you start out so i'm going to quit that simulator and get rid of this and the very first thing i want to do is actually just pretty much strip out all of that default stuff because we want to start making our own game so again i'm going to hop over to this view right here and if you go to game scene dot swift then let's clean it up and strip everything out. So first delete this comment at the top. And actually what I like to do is you see how it gives you these three methods by default. Did move to view, touches began, and update. Well, it's stuck a comment inside each one, but I really like to stick those above. All right, now once I'm done with that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all of the code inside all of these methods. So real quick, before I delete it, we can kind of see what this does. This, all right, so this was obviously the label that prints that text on the screen, that default hello world text. All right, that's probably what that did. Delete that, don't need any of that. All right, what's this does? This has something that looked like wherever you tapped it, popped that spaceship up, and we can delete that because we are creating our own custom game. So now, if you run this, check it out. Where are you at, simulator? All right, so it gives you a blank, brand new game. That's a better starting point for learning. Now, another thing I probably should mention is this. For the game I'm gonna be showing you guys, it's gonna be a really simple game, and it's definitely not one that you would wanna put on the App Store, but just for teaching you guys the basics, I'll show you guys what it is. Let me quit this simulator again. OMG, quit popping up Xcode. All right, so here's what I did. I went and I found this dude online. And if you go online and you type in game sprite or game sprite sheet, it's gonna give you a bunch of uh, free ones. Or if you want some really good ones, I got this from codecanyon.com. But you can actually just use a plain image. It doesn't need to be like a bunch of different frames. But I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a character. And you see how this is actually an animation with six different frames. So here's a guy, he's just firing the bullets coming out. 
And then his gun, it looks like it like blasts, like a backfiring effect. So go find any sprite online. Let me clean that up. And this is his bullet. And what he's going to be doing is he's going to be shooting these balls as they fall down from the sky. So again, pretty simple game. Just a dude shooting balls as they fall down. But it's going to teach you guys, like I said, the basics of physics and collision detection and get you familiar with Sprite Kit. And then once you learn all the pieces, you're going to be able to pretty much put them together and create any game that you want. So that's what you have to look forward to. And uh, well, that's probably good for this tutorial. I'll see you next time.